So yeah, something very disturbing happened uh, this morning. Disturbing for an orchid grower that is indoors during the cooler months of the year is the fact that I have noticed two orchids to my understanding that I can see that had signs of scale on the underside of the leaf. And that is very concerning because as you can see, this is my top shelf. This is the in one entire shelf right under the blurple lights and they are touching. So I'm going around with my insecticidal soap during the daytime, wiping the underside of the leaves of my top shelf where I saw the issue and addressing every single orchid that lives up there because not all, I did not see all of them affected. I'm going to leave the ingredients, the two main ingredients of my insecticidal soap in the description below. And then because I've had success with this, it has served me well on most cases, which excludes the den fowls. So that has not been successful on any of the den fowls, but knowing how dendrobium leaves are, I'm always very wary of actually touching anything insecticide onto dendrobium leaves because I don't know if they'll be there the next day. They're so sensitive to all kinds of things. So my Latoria dendrobiums have had, have been fine with these two main ingredients in the insecticidal soap. I've not lost a leaf and the pest issue was dealt with, not with dendrobium phalaenopsis. I hate doing my Digbiana here. This is Brassavola Digbiana. I hate doing this to her because I love the glaucous effect and I don't want to disturb what, how it grows naturally. But boy, if she gets scale, I am going to be so upset. So, needs must. I'm addressing her as well. And what I'm doing right now, yes, with the same cloth, but as I'm always dipping into the fresh batch of insecticide, I'm okay. I'm also doing the underside of the leaves because it is daytime and the stomatas are closed. Normally I wouldn't even dare do this. They open at night, so I'm okay with that. I don't know what is lurking in there, but it's coming out. Now these guys, that I'm addressing first have nothing wrong with them. I didn't see anything. Doesn't mean that there isn't anything. Just means that I am not touching the ones that I saw and wiping them down first and then getting to the ones that are good. So I'm avoiding as best as I can to transfer any kind of dangers to my orchids. I wanted to also that's not it. I wanted to do an update on these. So if you like, then stick around when I'm done. I'll show you what's going on. We haven't seen the top shelf at all since they've moved in. Make sure I get it all. We have had such a mild winter. So incredibly warm. I mean, for me, it's still cold and they can't live outside in the evenings, but it's not nothing compared with last year. And on top of that, the bugs don't die off. The ones that became adults in our late Indian summer, which was exceptionally warm, we had temperatures up to 30 degrees as well. They didn't die off and they laid eggs and the night temperatures are not in any position at this point to kill off any of the little ones that have hatched. So the cycle continues. I'm also going to check all the deposits. The weight is fine. I can tell by weight, but sometimes I'm mistaken because roots have grown, making the pot heavier. And it turns out that in actual fact, the pot, the deposit, the reservoir is empty. Doesn't mean the microfiber is dry. 
that the reservoir is empty. And of course, now that I've got some kind of an oil on my hands, I can't remove them. But yeah, I'm just going to take the opportunity as well to check the deposits and fill them up based on what the orchid needs and is doing. This is my durigan. She's not doing anything. In here, I would only put plain RO water. The ones that are growing, I check their reservoirs regularly and they actually do get fertilizer, even if it is winter. Insecticide soaked, microfibers, wrapping around sheaths. This is my golf green hair pig. This helps me loosen up the sheaths. I was not gonna fiddle with it, seeing as it is in sheath as well, and there's beautiful swelling. So I'm hopeful for some blooms and I didn't want to bother it. It was doing well where it was sat, but under these circumstances, it's not happening. So the sheath is coming off. I shall fiddle, but first soaking microfibers in insecticidal soap in order to soften them up and make my process a little bit more easy. You can see I've already removed the bottom there. That was a while ago. While the new growth was maturing, but now this is coming off. I've already wiped her down. This is my Sunya Green Mailman. Left it for last because this is where I saw what I believe to be scale on the underside of the leaves this morning, which I dealt with very quickly with alcohol and my paintbrush. But looking at it from underneath at a distance is not the same as taking the orchid down and rubbing her down. I do not see, I mean, I had a good look at her before I switched the camera on so as not to waste your time but I do not see anything ha harboring manifesting itself on the pseudobulbs as such. But I am almost certain that what I saw this morning was the sign. And I have on my golf green hair pig, I had a little thing and it has left a pitting in the cell structure of the top side of the leaf. And whoa, yeah, no, not happening. So this was the one that really, I saw them. Again, it, look, it's not much, but that's how it starts. They're not much, they're not big, but the takedown is fast. And that would annoy me. So another thing I've done with all of these that are not in sheath, sprayed into the apex of the orchid with alcohol where my rag doesn't reach. So I've done that with all of them, whether they're old growths, just finished blooming growths of this season. I can't do that if there's a sheath in there, but all the other ones have been dealt with like that. I still have an hour where they can stay outside before the temperature changes, especially for my golf green hair pig. I want to time the moving of that orchid based on outdoor, indoor temperatures matching. I don't want to lose the buds there. So that is also something I want to be mindful of. And the reason I sprayed before doing anything else was because this insecticide has oil in it. And if the rag touches the surface of the media here, then of course the oil will also repel any water. So I moistened the top surface of the media just to counteract what the oil can do in future if I need to spray the surface and get roots hydrated over the top of the leka. So that was my watering down the surface just to protect from the reaction of the oil. So this again is golf green hair pig. Just going to remove the sheaths quickly and make sure that if I see anything at all underneath the sheath, I'm dealing with it now 
and then in future I can just wipe the pseudobulb and it'll be fine. Look at this, look, oof, adore, j'adore, golf green hair pig sheath, and you see, when I got it down, I didn't see anything on the underside, when I got it down, and there's a bit of pitting, so that's not going to happen, no way, at least I'm going to try and avoid it, and my Brassavola digbiana, you guys. Look at what's going on. Look at these two new growths. Look at them in comparison to before, which also bloomed. So isn't that amazing? And it's this glaucous effect. I don't want to disturb or wipe down, you know, but I have to. I have to protect this orchid as well. So it needs to be done. I had a closer look at these, but those are very old. Nothing to see here, not this time around. But isn't this gorgeous? Oh, it's a third bigger. Both of them are now. Yeah, I love it. And my little fairy has forgiven me for missing the mark on the repot during the summer. See this little growth? But look at how many buds she's going to bring out despite that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and that despite being half the size of the previous year's growth and i only got nine buds last year so not too shabby very happy thank you very much so for now they're just going to sit out here chill out and uh, dry off a little bit and eventually the tetris on the top shelf will commence and then they'll be all okay and then tomorrow i'll deal with the lower shelf and see what goes on down there, and then keep a very, very close eye. Thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate it. Have yourselves a wonderful, wonderful day. Take care. Bye.